It's probably not a fair question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Okay. Um, is qualities a, 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 a fair measure uh, when we're talking about value? Well, I, I think for me, there's there's three different bits of this. So the first is, so this health gain that we really want to understand, what, what are we actually getting for the patient? Um, then is, is the quality the best? Is it picking up the things that matter in terms of health of the patient? And whichever instrument we use, then you know, they're, they're better at picking up some health effects than others. So one of the issues, um, for, for example, using the quality in cancer is the fact that it, you know, that cancer treatments typically make people make people tired. I yes, mean, that yeah. kind of that, those sorts of issues are not well um, are, not, are not well picked up in the quality, and there are um, there are some other aspects as well in other disease areas. In in some instances, we need to be complementing the the actual quality measure with some other indicators that will be helpful to the whoever is assessing the the value of the drug in understanding the the importance of the, the health effect to the patient. Um, I think the second part, June, you also touched on is in your you know, initial question is we're talking about the benefits. So they may go beyond the health gain as measured by the by the quality. So there may be other effects that we think are actually important, getting people back to work. Mm -hmm. We touched on the, the impact on um, on carers' quality of life, which may or may not be well picked up by mm -hmm. um, by by the quality. Um, and uh, there are various other um, kind of issues around extending the, the concept of value to think about other aspects of, of well-being, not least of which elements of, of reassurance that we might get from, um, from having healthcare treatments available and a number of, a number of different aspects. So, so I think the kind of first issue is, is the quality picking up the health gain for the patient? Yes. The second issue is, um, are there other things that we think ought to be in that benefit equation as well as that health gain as reflected? Um, um, uh, in, in the quality, and then the third part is is the sort of almost the kind of social weighting. So a quality is not a quality is not a quality. It sounds like what you're talking about is, to a certain extent, is you know the classical efficacy and safety is still very important, mm -hmm. but it's becoming more than that. It's about patient experience. Do you think it's fair for me to to say that that's the case where we either we are capturing it or we need to capture it better because it's an important component of the value of a product. I think those extra elements of value will become increasingly increasingly important. But let's not, in a sense, that the course, the starting point will always be, is there a clear, tangible, recognisable health benefit to the patient from, from, this, from this intervention? If there's not, because what we're actually doing is not necessarily... Um, improving immediate health gain, where let's say it's it's a it's a, an easier regimen to take. Those things are also are also a value. They're not they're not an immediate health value, but they will also improve the patient's overall well-being and quality of life. And they can be identified and measured. Um, payers have traditionally been more resistant to paying for these other elements yes. of value, particularly when they when they perceive themselves to be. To be cash constrained, in a sense, the starting point is the health gain of the patient. Everything else is a luxury. But I think we will increasingly move into an environment where people expect these other things to be taken into account.